Well, introducing our guest once again, this is my man, one third of uh, City High, Rob Parlow. I'm Spartan Low, stand corrected. Um, the ginger ale, the spike with a little something probably. But anyway, I am, I'm excited that you're here, man, because I told you off camera that I'm about giving our Jersey legends they flowers while they here. Staying with my grandma in uh -huh. Philly, like my whole my whole like childhood life. So like yeah. I'm now, what you know, part I'm do you Philly. remember what part? Because you know Philly got down north, uh, south, uh, the P. Uh, Where West you at? O West Oak Lane. West Oak Lane. Okay, West I thought Lane. you were gonna say West Philadelphia. Oh no no, <laughs> born and raised. Yeah, no no exactly. West West Oak West Oak, West Oak Lane. Lane. Yeah, okay. yeah yeah yeah. All right, that's dope. So, so did you uh, attend schools over there? That was just your mom and dad. Nah, that was came? yeah. I I just hung out like during the you know when your parents send you with your grandma for the summer. Right right right. Like I spent the summer. So you got your street cred over there. Right exactly. You don't know Peanut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to walk to the store. Right, 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 right. right. Up, I literally <laughs> walked to the store. You, you know what I'm saying? Get the, on, get the juices and, right, and, and right, some cigarettes right. from my grandma. Boy, you couldn't right. tell you nothing. You went back to Willow, bro. They're like, where you was nah, at all week? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. <laughs> I ain't talking about nothing out here. <laughs> Bro. I got crack on me now. How old are you, six? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly. So, how was your childhood growing up? And did you play any sports? Uh, yes, yes. I ran track. I played football. I, I was, I was kind of nice. The only okay. reason why I stopped uh, doing sports is because, like, I was afraid to hurt my hands because I, I was doing this music thing. Oh, okay. okay. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, okay. So don't but, skip, though. You say this, like, what, what did that mean? You play piano? But, I, oh, yeah. You play everything. I, I don't know. I don't play everything, but okay. piano is uh, my grandfather was a jazz pianist. He, right. owned, he owned a jazz club in Merchantville, um, okay. um, New Jersey. Right. And I used to bust tables. Okay. I used to hide in the, they had a walk in refrigerator. I used, right. to, I used to hide in there because they would always like come, Robbie, you need to come sing. Like, <laughs> I'm just here to bust tables. Right, like, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, it was a family, it was a family place, but there were a lot of prominent jazz artists and musicians from around the area that used okay. to come there and play. Mm. So, like, I was brought up around all that. You know what I mean? That's dope. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, how many siblings do you have? I have one brother. Just That's one it. brother? Just two of y'all? I could have sworn you had two of us. Really? No, 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 no. no. I got nope. I got one he, brother. Are you the oldest? No, he's old. He's, he's older baby. than me. Probably and, the and, baby. And, yeah, I'm the baby. <laughs> and, and it's a it's a major age gap. Like right. me and him aren't really, you know. Sad, I'm sad to say. Well, I mean, we close. Like yeah. I love him to death. But like yeah. as far as like you know how most brothers and sisters, right. Like like. Yeah. You know, y'all like that. How far are y'all apart? Is it like 10, 8, 9, yeah, 7? Like 10. Like a 10 piece. Yeah, but that nigga had a yeah. full time job. Right. When he was right, 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 right. <laughs> a right. paper route and right. he cut grass. When right, was right. Before I was even, I was <laughs> right, in the head, right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? So, um, right. yeah, it's just, it was just me and him. Uh, but we, we are very close. And my brother, um, I'm proud to say. Make sure you shout him out because I've seen him on YouTube. Uh, what is, what, say his name and what he does. Uh, well, on, on Instagram, it's, it's Pardlo. Right, his his, uh, his tag is Pardlo, right. but I I am proud to say that my brother is a Pulitzer Prize winning author. Oh, that's dope. He's got he's got three Lit. books out right now. Okay, you know what I'm saying. And where so, can they get those books? You know, shoot, shoot, anywhere Amazon, online, everything. Amazon, okay, anywhere, that's lit. anywhere. That's lit. You know what I mean? That's, and I like yeah. the fact that not even ten minutes into your sh your shine. Mm. You already sharing your brother. Oh man, because he, I mean, he's done more than this. he's like, you know what I mean? Like I thought I was, I was balling. And, and the funny, funny right. story, the reason why is because you know we all go through that period in life where we, we yeah, like, we yeah, messing yeah. up a little bit, like that young period. Right. And he see, he was like, this little nigga is out here hanging out with Wyclef and doing all this stuff. I gotta get back on my grizzly. And yeah, he went back to school. Right. He, you know, what I'm saying he started writing, and then. He is a Pulitzer Prize winner, but I can honestly say he did that because he was like, "Little nigga, you ain't gonna get all the shine, nigga." We, we, I'm not coming to the family cookout. Nah, with nah, my, nah, little, nah. my little brother right, is that nigga. Right, right, right. All we, my uncles over there talking so, "Hey, Rob, you got twenty eyes." Right, right, you know what right, what right, right. right. Ain't right. for shit because you know they know I'm fucked right, up. Right, right, right. So I gotta change my whole demeanor. I gotta get in the gym. I gotta get hot chicks. Right, right. I'm gonna get eight it, degrees exactly. on you. And, and, and I mean, you know, we part low man. We swing for the fences and right, he, right. Uh, that nigga hit, hit a home run. Yo, that's dope, so, man. Yeah. All right, so who were some of your early inspirations in music, like coming up? Like, how did you get that music bug? Like, who, who did you grow up studying? I mean, I all I mean, well, first my mother, because yeah. I would just sit next to her and we would, you know, she would play the piano and I would sing along with right. her. But you know, as it progressed, um, you know, saying my grandfather obviously. 
great great jazz musician. Okay. And then uh, you know when when we start to to get into famous people that everybody would know, you know, we talk Marvin, Michael, right. uh, um, you know, Stevie, right. um, Donnie, right. you know what I mean? And this was like later on in life when I started to realize who these people were. I grew right. up listening to their music and right. I had no idea. Right. I just, it was instilled in me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's, that's kind of how I came up. And, um, and you started a combination of instruments and vocal like you did both right Young. right 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 well like i said uh, we we always had a piano in my house right. when i was little okay so like somebody was playing the piano especially at christmas either my right. grandfather was like playing christmas right. carols or my mom was playing right. you know what i mean and eventually like i just jumped on and right. you know what i mean it, it was that type of thing well, that's what's so, up. Yeah. so it was rumored that you were the first one to get, get offered a deal is that true yes Okay, so, so what led to you getting yeah. that? I always wanted yeah. to know that. So, all right, so I got a... We're talking specifically about the City High deal. Yeah, 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 you yeah. You got signed first. Right. That's the rumor that's out. Is that true? No, that's, that's very much okay, true. So tell so, us how that happened. All right, so what happened was, um, fresh out of college, I was going to University of the Arts. And, um, Where's the humor? Is that uh, and, Philly? That, no, that's Philly, okay. Pennsylvania. It's on, okay. That's on Broad Street. Okay. Once again, Philly. You know what I'm I mean, like, went back home. Went back home. Are we getting you from Philly? Yeah, yeah. yeah right, right. So you're not Jersey. <laughs> they get it. And nigga, we so, from Jersey, nigga. We <laughs> City High said Jersey, nigga. Right, right, right. So right, right, right. Well, I'm Jersey. Well, I'm just saying, shout out, shout out shout to out my Philly, Philly family. Niggas yeah. got boys than men. They from Willingboro. Right, too, right. Man. Oh, on, that's like, a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. Yeah, we know yeah. we ain't gonna get there, but right, right, right. <laughs> so, um, wait, what was we saying? No, we talking about how you got your deal. Okay, okay. That you got the deal. Yeah, so so I uh, so I was in University of the Arts. Um, mm -hmm. I got a, I got a partial scholarship. I was going there. I went there for one semester. Right. And and on the side, my little side hustle. Right. Like I was making beats and doing stuff. I, damn, I, I must have been like nineteen, eighteen, right. something like that. But okay. I was doing stuff. So you know, every everybody who was prominent in that in in Willingboro, that you know yeah, Philly, yeah, that, yeah. that, that oh, you know what I mean. Like I, I started, um, you know, coming crossing paths with. So, um, you know, I mean, we ended up like I ended up meeting up with a, with a guy um, who uh, who was a, a secretary. Well, I don't want to say a secretary. Yeah, intern. Say, intern. Yeah, intern. That's a better yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, in, 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 in intern. He, he's he's one of my close friends to to this day. He's right. part of the reason why I started. I mean, there's a lot of re uh, there's a lot of people that were involved in right. how I got started. But uh, he was working at Sony Records, and uh, we started. Working on a demo, okay. you know, and I worked on my demo, and he used to sit in the in the lobby at Sony Records and play my demo. So all the executives <laughs> would come up, you know, what I'm saying, and they would like, Who, "Who's that kid? Like, right. like, who is that kid? Oh, this is this this you know this little artist I'm working with. He's from Willing, a small town called Willingboro, New Jersey. Right. You know what I mean? So, AKA that, the Black Motown. Right, 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 it. right, right. <clears throat> so you know, th um, that happened, and then um, I went along to like like. I mean, as it usually does, like we, we progress through meeting with labels and all types of stuff like that. I mean, this is later on down the line. I'm, I'm right. trying to rush the story along. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I ended up meeting with uh, Sylvia Rohn, um, um, ended up meeting with uh, Shaquem and, um, and, and Queen. And, and, and uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you I, I just throwing it. these names around like Wait, they just regular I, folks. I, Queen Latifah, <laughs> Shaq Kim. We were in Motown Records wow, at, at the Universal crazy. Building at Motown Records. Okay. Um, and, I, and you're I, taking these meetings alone, no management. No, no, no. I, no, I you got, I got. Yeah, no, I didn't have a team. I had one, one guy, my man Ken Joseph. Okay, dope. Uh, shout out to Ken Joseph. Okay, you know what I'm saying he was riding with me. Right. So, uh, you know what I mean? Like I had, like I. Uh, did an audition with 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 them. Right. Uh, Mariah Carey at that time had a label called Crave. Mm -hmm. She was interested in me, um, so we got so we got Crave. We got uh, Sylvia Rome. Sylvia Rome at Atlantic. Yeah, and then um, you got um, um, you you said uh, my man. You had Queen Latifah and them. That was Flav Flavor Flavor Unit. unit. The Flavor okay. Unit through through uh, that you was you were singing Motown. your heart out on that fucking demo then. Dog. Dog. Man, the, yeah. it, okay, I'll let you finish. I know the fans want to keep going, nigga. Uh, keep well, going. Uh, no, I mean, that, that's that's pretty much that's it. Pretty like, much like, it. Like, so, who ended up giving you the deal? That would be Jerry Wonder and Y Club. You know what I'm saying? That, they was at Columbia. So, so, no, no, they were at, they were working through, um, they were working through, uh, Universal Interscope. Okay. Right. So, uh, my man, Ken Joseph, had some connections, right? Um, 
with, with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he worked it. And I ended up doing a showcase somewhere in Harlem. I can't remember where it was. But um, uh, 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 you know, I don't like to toot my own horn, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, yeah. I did my thing. That, yeah. you know, I, I did my little thing. <laughs> so right. w in the midst of all these people like wanting to work with me, like they came out, they saw me, Wyclef and Jerry Warner, they saw me, they were right. like, hey, you know, I like I, I shook hands with them, I talked to them, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you want to come, that that's when he was starting, to, they were starting their little fledgling label, Booga Basement. Booga Basement. Yeah, I remember that's like some North shit right there. So, so yeah, so I we ended up, um, it made sense, you right. know what I mean? Like, like just the, uh, just the, like working with them and, and, and the opportunities and everything like that, it made sense to get with them. Right. So. We ended up, uh, I ended up signing with them. Okay. And then we started working on the album. No, and we ain't going to skip. Signing, right? You know how every, that, that's a big thing. When you call home, mama, right. I, made I made it. it. Right. Was right. that check big or they gave you some bullshit? Tell the streets. No, well, it was big. I had to pay a lot of people. <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't even get your hands out my pocket. How many people exactly. you had? See, and, 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 and like. <laughs> I know y'all probably gonna ask me about the industry pitfalls, but right, they, like right. that—that's kind of one of them. Like, yeah, it was a—it was a major yeah, deal. You had thirty managers. Like that. You had role managers. No, 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 no. Not at that. Not at that time. Because you had that perm <laughs> shit in your hair. Uh, I you do not, not have a perm. 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 This is me. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was not now. I'm talking oh. about back then, nigga. Your oh, shit looked like you was Dominican. No, back hey, then. no, it's still the same shit. You still had some good shit though. I'm talking about new pictures. Like, oh, thank you, sir. It's hours? not a perm. This is my real hair. This is my real hair. Hey, yo. You don't stop fucking with me, I'm kid. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Go ahead, go ahead, finish stuff. So, okay. was the check nice? Was it six figures? Was it back then 50,000, 60,000? Well, like my, my, my event, my first advance. Right. Um, now, now, okay. Now, this it, you better it, not it, lie, it, nigga. They gave you ten thousand. Say it. Now, now, wait. Now, listen, listen. This the story is kind of crazy because I got signed, and and it kind of ties into the whole city high thing. Right. Because I got signed, we we didn't really like see any money. Okay. Like you know what I mean? I was working through mutual friends. Mm -hmm. I was working with Ryan, and he was helping me work on my debut album. Oh, yeah, so, so he was already in the was He was, yeah, somewhere. through mutual friends right. and everything like that. He, we, we were writing together and everything right. like that. So like I didn't I you know I saw nah, all right so for me personally right uh, maybe thirty grand was like that's the, love you that, that, you know, years old nigga. exactly that's love. exactly like, you I got, got no kids. nigga I got a um back then I got a, a black Del Sol with the windows to, they don't even make those anymore I it heard had the, the Del Sol the tops that come off as a yeah, two seater yeah, yeah. John how much you ran how much that joint ran about twelve thousand a little half? something like that yeah, something, you, yeah. but you drop you you drop heavy but, at the dealership. <laughs> A little, 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 a little kid, little a, kid. A, a little kid, like best give facts. me my car. I just that's, want my, you know what I mean? Right. So, you know what I mean? Boy, so, you was the man in Willow, right, bro. Right, right, right. Like, I was and driving around in space. I was that. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> I mean, you. I don't know what I mean, you I, well, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for no, it. No, 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 no. We ain't going we ain't there going yet. There. We ain't yet. going there. Not, not yet. yet. Not don't yet. let Graham get no, to you. No, listen. This you better not lie. See, you, they ain't told we're you about that. We not going there yet. All right. Okay, so what, what you got for him, G? That was you. That was me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, where I'm at? Uh, it was rumor. Okay, yeah, you damn. That was a good question you asked about that goddamn record deal shit, too. All right, so after meeting Wild Clef, how did your life change? Two-part question. And, um... Did you bring Claudette and Ryan into your situation? So it's a two-part question. Okay. So, uh, all right. So let's First talk about- First one is Wyclef. When you met him, how did, how did my life change? How did my life change? Well, my life changed because I was I was underneath Wyclef. Right. Every day. Okay. Shooting up, to, shooting up to New York. Right. In the studio. You know what I'm saying? With I mean, people was coming, like, fucking Mick Jagger came through there one yeah. time. I was a little kid. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, you know, we, we seen a lot of stuff. I, I right. seen a lot of stuff. He took me on tour with him. At, back at that time, we were, they were doing like the campus invasion tour and like college, and, a lot of college. Like, like a, yeah, yeah. So I was just I was riding with him. Like I, you know, I was the little the, the little ace in the hole. Carried a lot of bags. For the, <laughs> for the <laughs> yes, a lot of bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. That, I, did. I know you carried that nigga guitar. Oh, oh only <laughs> because I wanted to. Oh, okay. Because I was trying was to going to November yeah, in that yeah, motherfucker. Right. Yeah, because I was trying. I, one, one. Because I was always trying to play what he was right. playing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that it was. was it, it, it was a lot. Right. Yeah, yeah. He still is. All right. Still real is. quick before you ask your question, did you meet Lauren Hill during that? I never, to this day, what? met Lauren Hill. 
What? And, 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 as, a, as affiliated never... as affiliated as I am with the refugee camp and Prize. all that, I never, never... Oh, of course I met Prize. Oh, man, man. And you never got she, to meet her? Never what? met Lauren Hill. I mean, she never came. I'm going to tell you what it was. It was your hair, bro. Yeah! My crush said, don't bring your ass to the studio. Once she saw that gray, she'd be like, who that nigga over there with that Dominican shit over there? That's why, that's why you never, nigga. A nigga ain't never bringing this bitch around the bitch. Nigga, this good shit. That's why you never, why crush knew that? He brought prize there. His prize at the buckshot shorty thing. The buckshot shorty? He had a little buckshots in his shit. He, he said, oh, this little half Dominican ain't motherfucker. Ain't right, 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 right. This and little nigga. sing. Yeah, hey, and you used yeah. to wear them little muscle shirts back then. I love so he it. wasn't I love fucking it. with you, man. That's I love why you that. You know what I'm saying? That, that was about by his design. Yeah. Shirts. I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Am I lying though? No, you you're not lying. You got your nah, little you, cross on there with you, your little yeah, yeah, you talk, yeah, you tell the truth. You tell yeah, the, the truth. I, I, was, I mean, I was just trying to fit in. I was just trying to find my spot. You know your Willingboro niggas right now. I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's, you know, ain't trying to represent for Willingboro and anything. <laughs> yeah, Clef, you an insecure ass nigga. I love you to oh, death. Stop. We ain't never. <laughs> we came here to pot today. <laughs> so how did you meet Claudette? It's a two part question. Yeah. And how long did you guys date? <laughs> Get a little smoky. Right, um, yeah, how did he, I, I, I you met, said, how did he meet Claudette? How did you meet her? All right, so, back. All right, all right, so uh, around I, uh, where I live in Twin Hills in Willingboro, right. um, one of the Delphonics, um, um, Wilbert Park, okay. one of the founding members of the Delphonics, mm -hmm. he, 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 he lives in, in Twin Hills around the corner. I started working with him. Right. Um, one of his daughter's best friends happened to be Claudette. Right. You know what I'm saying? So while I was over there working with him, you know, we we met up, but I mean, back then we was kids. Like they had a pool in the back. We would, we were yeah. swimming. I, yeah. they would be like, come come in and do these vocals and da da da. da. Right. But I don't want to go play. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. that. Like so that. Y'all was kids, kids. Like, like yeah, 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 we was kids, kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So okay. like that. You know, that's how I met her. And um and you know like we just we, we became friends first. Like I, you know, I'm not. Gonna, I mean, like I said, we were kids, so I'm not gonna say we hit it off. But, yeah. Like you know, there was just it was a chem some it was chemistry. it was some chemistry there. You know, so did y'all date in high school or did it go straight from the twelve year old? I'm about to bag her. like the no like the like high school. I well I was in uh, yeah we both were in high school. She was a little bit younger than than I was. A little saying. bit younger. She's twelve. Yeah, that was a, that. that you was twelve. A, she was nine. The, no, no, no. no. <laughs> that was extra. I'm trying to get it, 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 you know what? There's I'm always been a little bit of a of a disparity, uh, a gray area. Right. Because I was like. I want to say I was like 19 or something yeah. she was like 17 okay so I was yeah, closer you know what I mean yeah. but but mm -hmm. it still seemed like it could be wrong right you know what I'm saying like like maybe I was a little too old like maybe I'm that gonna was I'm going to keep something. it tall I watched the Vlad interview of her last night mm. and 10 years ago she said she was 32 on that interview so, mm. so that would be 10 years now and make her 42 mm -hmm. how old is you I'm 43 so maybe um <laughs> on that like, so whatever it is, it might be three or four. It was it was a difference. It, right. it, it was an age difference that could could have been looked at like, hmm. yeah. You know what I mean, but back then, I, I even felt it. Okay, like, so you know I'm glad saying? you cleared that up. So so it could have been just a mature thing at the time. Like you may have been a little too mature for her, or right? She may just sometimes they say women mature faster. Than I, men. I was gonna say I think that she it's was the she was a little more mature for me. Right. And me not realizing like the age difference mm -hmm. that it may have been considered a little inappropriate. Okay. You Got know it. what I'm saying? Like, we ain't, I, we ain't I, trying I, to, you better not lie, we ain't sending nobody to jail. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, I, I didn't Whatever. do anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything. You uh, and Satan. I didn't, you I, did, I, I didn't do anything I illegal. Talk about that. I didn't <laughs> do anything <laughs> illegal. All right, cool. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So that's good. You met her on some high school stuff. Not high school, but young kid, young age. Hanging around Twin Hills through the Delphonics. Right, we got right, that, right. We got the that yeah. Now, how long did you guys date? Uh, yeah, that's cool. Jeez, at this point, I don't even remember. Hey, um, I mean, did you guys had yeah. timing. Like, was it years? Yeah, it was, it was. I mean, it was. It, it was been like two, like, like two, three, three, two, three years, okay. something like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, like like sneak, sneaking out the house, uh, like me sneaking out the house in my Del Sol to go pick her up. You right, know what right, I mean? Right, Late right. at night, and taking she, her to New York, showing her the dream. Probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She right, 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 yeah. right, right. 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 I'm, I'm well. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying yeah. to with my little young self, like that, yeah, knowing yeah. I'm, you know, well, he's mm. old head. Right. right. I'm I'm screaming. Screaming. All right. Okay. So, you. So the second part of the question is, 
when you got the deal, all right, you already know Claudette from you being signed. You already signed. You know Claudette, so y'all probably got the situation already when you got signed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. you, was, you was dating her when you got signed. Right. So now you're dating Claudette, and then Ryan and you are writing behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And then when you get the deal, he's helping you with your album. How do you just say, fuck it, let's, let's just bring it group. together? That that was a it was a, a mutual agreement between everybody. First, first right. of all, me and me and like yeah, me and Claudette were together. And right. Everything that that okay. that was completely over here. Mm -hmm. Ryan and I, because of a mutual friend, right. I mean, we started working together. And mind you, I was I was starstruck to be working with the kid from City High. Like I used to stand in the middle. Not City High. The kid. I, I'm, from I'm sorry, Park. from uh, Sisterac. Yeah, Sister yeah, Act, yeah, right, yeah. 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 And shout out to Ryan yeah. Toby. Yeah. He's my friend on Facebook. Shout out too. to my big brother Ryan yeah, Toby. Yeah, yeah. I, you called him Big Brother. He older than you too. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that's another question down the line. But finish though. You bought these two into a situation that you had your now. What's the conversation when you go to Ryan and Claudette and say, you know what, this is what we're doing? It wasn't my conversation, it was Y Club's conversation. So so, so he put y'all together. He yeah. He so, was like, Y'all, y'all kind of like a singing Fuji's. What so, y'all think about doing that? All right, so so you had gave Claudette opportunities to sing in front of him? Yeah, I mean, she was coming to the studio with me. Yeah, I know, but so. if it's your girl, like if I bring Juicy to the studio and I'm a rapper, mm. she might just be sitting there looking. No, nah, I was like, yo, my my girlfriend oh, so, is, oh, is crazy. This is even crazy. Better. This is real so, ninja stuff because yeah. man would never put his girl on because he don't want nobody talking to her. Because <laughs> he don't want nobody talking to her. Yeah, see, no. <laughs> Bitch, why you say hi to him? Like, <laughs> he said hi to me. You should have just I said, mm hmm. Yeah, right. He, he'd be like, be in the studio with your head down. No, I like I, I yo. She was so talented, which right. is which is part of the reason why I want you know I wanted to be with her. Right, like and so, she looked so, good. On, she looked good on your arms, bro. obviously. Claudette, if you watch it, no disrespect to anybody who is married or dating you, whatever. But you fine, fine. You hear me? <laughs> You fine, 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 fine. Yeah, right. I'm still fine so, is why. I mean, I I literally said right. to these guys like, right. hey man, and I'm a, and I'm a kid myself, so I'm right. like, hey, my girlfriend, she she's bad as hell, and she she is nice. She can sing. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. I, let me give you flowers for that because what we discovered right now at this very moment is that you were not selfish. Right. Thank you. you. Put your girl. You pushed her to stardom. You you brought Ryan, who was already a star, right. into your situation and shared that light. So if it wasn't for you being not selfish, there would be no city high. I mean, you could say that. I don't want to say that out of my mouth. I mean, I mean I'm saying you, it because you just told me you took your girl and said, hey, my girl's dope. Hey, I'm also working with Ryan behind the scenes. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Right. And while right. Clef had the opportunity to see your the vision. The three, the three together. Yeah. And he yeah. said, damn. Y'all was singing Fuji's. But listen, you had to go through the door first. Right, right, right. So it's like Voltron. You right. go through the door as the head, and then you bought the arm extensions, and it made the legendary group. Right, right, right. So Something who came like up that. with this? This city, huh? Who came up with that record? Damn. Hold on. Let me see if I can remember. Ah. I, Did you have that on your demo? No, no, no. That 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 came up that after. like yeah, that was like when we were after. signed. That was after so, what would you do? That was okay. like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I like we was we was with the track masters. We was Stop working it. with You're the right. track masters. Let's talk about is that your question, Juice? I don't want to skip. Well, I don't know. What would you do? I don't think I even put that on there. How the hell did that record come from? That was my song, by the way. I know oh, I'm a you. young bug, but yeah. I, oh, still, you. I was in there talking, like, felt yes. like I was out here trying to get some money for my kid. Man. And I, didn't uh, you know what I, mean? I wanted to be on welfare <laughs> like, when I heard that song. <laughs> yeah. I'm out here trying to get it. What? Yo. That was the welfare <laughs> anthem. Did you know that? Yeah. Project Chick? Really? With the, with the fat form I, pregnant I, 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 had, I had an what? idea. Yeah, yeah. All, Nigga, all, all, all the all the Brenda's got a babies out oh, there. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every, I see everybody standing in line at, at no. getting welfare when that song. So, what would you do if you're someone's at home? Man. Crying on the phone in the bedroom. Because he's hungry. That nigga was hungry. Man, listen. They didn't even say hungry. She said hungry. hungry. That's how I knew she was from Jersey. The, yeah, hey, said, hey. She said hungry? That's how she pronounced it. You know what I'm saying? The, the you legend. tried to tell her to say hungry, right? That, no, no, no. Ryan, Ryan wrote that. You know what I mean? Wrote, oh, Ryan wanted her to say hungry. Right, Where right. Ryan we was from Camden. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan knows <laughs> Ryan know one, well, two like, things about yeah. me. It's a difference. Chill, chill, see, chill, in the chill, suburbs, chill. I'm hungry. You see how you right, get right, right, right. hungry? 
be yeah. ain't nothing in the moment. Well, see, when you sing it and you in the moment, you know what I'm saying? Because he hungry. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like that, that H O N G R Y. Hungry. Hungry. We're going to dub that. Or you like, you better not lie, podcast. Hungry and hungry is two different things. I don't care who telling me. When I heard her say that, I said, that bitch straight from Jersey. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? She's not a bitch, by the yeah, way. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. No, we said that. <laughs> term we playing, we playing, we playing. Yeah, yeah. Term, <laughs> term of endearment. Yeah, exactly. So, when what, who came up with, what, Ryan wrote, what would you do? All right, so this is this is what happened. Right. I came up with, like, I, this is when I first started playing guitar a little yeah. bit. You know what I'm saying? I was diddling and dabbling. Right. I came up with the, and I was, Strumming on my guitar. Yeah. I, I first got I got my little bit of equipment in my bedroom. Right. I did the beat. That okay. beat that you beat that, that you beat? heard, that beat that you hear that's still playing, mm -hmm. I did that in my bedroom. You know what I'm saying? So I, I did that beat. Right. It didn't have any lyrics to it. Me, you know, we were all working, we were trying to come up with ideas for the album that I told Ryan, I said, come over and listen to this track. You know what I'm saying? So he came over. We were we were hanging out and doing late nights at that at that point. Okay. He's like, eh, it's a little pop. It's a little pop. Da -da 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 -da. You know what I'm saying? So um he I I, I convinced him, yeah. you know, and we, we started to vibe out. We we wrote something mm -hmm. and um the, well, hold on, let me jump, let me jump yeah, subjects. Yeah. The 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 lyrics happened because that really happened. Like we, oh, was, it was you know really what I'm saying? Somebody like, like we we was at a party in Garfield East in Willowboro, right. and it was somebody from high school that we saw. Like, what the hell are you doing here? Like, right. what are you like, like? You know what I mean? It was a little bachelor party, mm. and one of the cribs, and you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, and they used to be people's. turned up out there. And too. it was a chick from high school that we knew, and she was she was in there dancing, and we were like, oh, so good to see you. But why? Where the kids? What's going on? Right. You know what I'm saying? So you know, it, all the all that crying on the. Crying on the floor and bedroom floor. Just added that to make that, it, that yeah. was that was embellishment. Yeah, that that was that, touched the project, that was so. dramatic Thanks. effect. But the actual incident did happen. Right. It don't you matter, y'all. Y'all. Somebody dug deep into their soul of being hungry. You right. Me? And right, somebody right. dug in there, and they was like, when that record came out, and Claudette, the way she sung it, she sung it like she meant that shit. Bro. Right. I, she yeah. sung it like it was her. Right. 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 You, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I said, we, damn. We was a. Did you go we, through that? We 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 were we was on some. I'm trying to think of what movie right. it was. Push that shit out. Oh, uh, right, right, right. Uh, 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 um, uh, what's the um, hustle and fluff? Right. Push right. that shit out, girl. You know what I'm right. saying? Like so, you know, it, it 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 was what it was. It happened, man, and you know, like I got one more question to add on to what would you do mm -hmm. when that f song hit? Right. Mm -hmm. What was different about City High? That, like like immediately, like when you heard it, that it was on the radio. It's, it's, it's charting, it's, you know, y'all traveling. Like, what changed? Like, were mm -hmm. y'all all good at the time? Y'all got y'all breakout single? We were fine. The only thing that changed is that, like, it was on the radio. You feel me? Like, I mean, I, 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 I remember yeah. the exact moment. I forget I, I forget where we were coming from, where right. we were going, but we were on a tour bus. And, like, it was it was literally a five heartbeats moment. Like, Ryan, like Ryan was, like, tapping on my bum, like, nigga! Uh, turn turn on the, um turn on your radio. We, it wasn't like it social was, media. It, so, like, yeah. it was like yo, we, whatever whatever state we were driving through, right. whatever radio station was on at the right. time, like they were playing it, and it was like five o'clock in the morning. Okay, and we were just looking at each other like nigga from the bedroom to this shit. We made it, yeah. Right. And we slept. We literally when we did that track, we we slept on the bedroom back to back. Like yeah. after we did it. With it, uh, none of y'all kids know about dat players. Yeah, we I had a thing called dats. Yeah, yeah. We had a dat, we, we, I had a dat player, and we 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 just put the dat on and hit it on repeat, and we just sat there and listened all night long. Like, do you think it's gonna happen? You think it's gonna happen? Like, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I think it's gonna happen. So fast forward back to we on a tour bus, da da da, da and we like we hearing it on the radio, like shit, you made it. It happened. Yeah. So why why did y'all name the group City High? Um. Circumstance, like like on some grimy, on yeah. some grimy like um um fame right. type shit. Like we we the, we the three misfits yeah. from from the school, right. like city high, like we we, we city yeah. high. Like, was y'all watching I mean, Cooley High and just jack them? I'm so no, high. no, it, it really you didn't. Got I'm just saying. It, I mean, somebody it, told it, me y'all niggas jack it, Cooley High. It was a mi <laughs> it was a mix between it was a mix between Cooley High and fame. Mm. Like when we were talking about the name, like City High, like I that was we, we, a, I like we that were, was dope, we, like we the kids in the back of the classroom, high as hell. The, the teacher's trying to talk. Can y'all quiet down? Right. 
<laughs> you know what I'm right, saying? Like, right, that right. was us. So, City High, like, that, it just made sense. I like, like that's, that. That's All right, this is the segment of the show called Getting Juicy hey. with Jelene, where Jelene gives you the latest and the greatest update on all the grimy gossip in the world. What we got going on? This I'm going to tell you, this segment that we got a lot to talk about, though, even though the questions is, is light. But go ahead. Tell us. Kanye em. West. Oh, Let's boy. Let's get into it. So he was <laughs> dropped by Balenciaga and Adidas, but he also what? was taken off Forbes for being a billionaire. He's no longer considered that. a billionaire. I thought that was Cat. What you think about that? You think that him Adidas letting him go and Balenciaga letting him go that that does drop his status as a billionaire? Uh, I, I mean, I mean, he lost a lot of money. He lost yeah. a lot of money. He a lost lot of money. a lot of money. Adidas is apparently saying that they're still gonna make Yeezys without the Yeezy name. I think right. There must be a violation in his contract somewhere where they can do that. Well, I think they might have they they might have freaked it in the contract where they had something on the like like the, the design. You know or, what I'm saying? If you go out there and publicly embarrass the brand and the meat, sometimes they got something mm. where you go out there and do something to damage the brand, they are allowed to then take it over. But, right, but then right. That, that's a clause that keeps them from paying you. Right, 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 right. They probably you had know that. you sign deals. You got to read the fine print. Right, <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. There's always something in there that's going to pay them and not your and not, ass. Exactly, <laughs> you know exactly, exactly. All right, so we talked about Balenciaga, Adidas, with... Uh, you know, Kanye you heard about West. Peloton? Peloton just dropped him they off. They just the, dropped him too. I yeah. heard Donda. He had a sports agency too. They just, they just. Oh, a lot of his sports players are saying they don't want to be affiliated with his agency no more. Uh, yeah, I heard that too. But right, I don't right. Know if it's being facts yet. Yeah, I don't know if it's facts that he's not rich because I've seen something. It's not. No, he's, he's not rich. rich. He's not rich. considered but he a said billion. He's yeah, right. Two right. Billion. But right. I wouldn't be surprised. I yeah. mean, Kanye is a little he crazy, is but he's a genius. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I I'll give it that. I definitely give him that. Yeah. All right, so my boy Tory Lanez ordered to house arrest until his court date yeah, for f- shooting Megan Thee Stallion. Right, I heard about a- that. A- a- allegedly. Allegedly. So, allegedly, because so I he, still do not believe that right. happened. So he's getting ready to go to court for that. Right. That's sketchy right there, man. He mm-hmm. going to win. I got faith. So? Mm. Oh, because Megan's story is ain't added. It up. just don't add up to me. No, no, no. For, for I'm, one, I'm, we at You Better Not Live podcast, we against violence against women, absolutely. violence against men, absolutely. animals, all of that. But at the end of the day, you know, it's looking like you stepped on glass. Right. Right, yeah. right, right. The man might have shot the ground and you thought doctor, you got shot. Mm-hmm. No bullet, like, right. No, right. Yeah, it was just and the climate that we live in today, like, you know, I, I'm not not to take anything away from women that have really been through something, but right. like if, if you bout if you bout it, you can just cry wolf. Right. And, and society will cancel you. Yes. Right. You know what exactly. I'm saying? She didn't so, to go as far as she did. Right. Exactly. 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 All right. So um I'm just gonna go right into it. A few years ago, you was on the A and E show. Duh. Shit. You know, you had you struggle with addiction, alcoholism. Still do. Right. I mean, it's cool. I mean, cause it, guess what? Your story can touch somebody out there. It's real shit. And I, my my brother, rest his soul. My brother also struggled with um, al- alcohol addiction, and he had diabetes too. And you know, the two don't mix. No. And I lost not. him. No. I lost him in two thousand nine. And you know, rest in peace to my bro. So I know, I know what that looks like. Because I lost somebody that struggled with that. You right. feel me? Right. So when I seen your story online, I'm telling you, it's like watching my bro. You know right. what I'm saying? Like the right. family is rooting for him. You know, you got your mom crying, your dad crying, that real touch, um, that real moment with your brother and how when you walked in the room, you guys just locked eyes and just immediately start crying. Right. So when earlier you said y'all really not close, mm. I know the the sibling closeness. It's like, I don't got to see you every day, nigga, but that, I that's love the it. shit yeah. out you. Yeah, nigga. exactly. Like, and I'm going to go get some help because you crying, nigga. Exactly. You my big brother. You and this bitch crying? Oh, shit, real. Exactly. Somebody about to die. Exactly. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. So I felt that watching that, and I want to know, right, you being on that show, how did that happen? Two-part question. How did you get on the show? And the second part is, like, being on that show, what, con- what contributed to you Spiraling out of control. I, I was already spiraling out of control. Right. Um, what was the first part? First part is this: How, how did you get on the show? Motherfuckers okay. just don't pull up with so, A and E cameras. So, so <laughs> you know, what I'm so, so, that, yeah. so I was already spiraling out of control right. after City High. Right. I lost my mind. I mean, there, there, you know, that there, there was, uh, um, you know, I was drinking a lot on ro- on the road and right. everything like that. Um, so after we broke up. 
you know, like like life. I, I started coming back to a normal person's life, right? And uh, but I was still Robbie from City High, okay. And um, I, I somebody in my family was like, "Y'all ever heard of that uh, that show uh, Intervention?" And I just so happened to be a big fan. I, right. I watched it all the time right. just because I could relate to everybody on that show right. while I was going through what I was going through. I, you know, I would I would relate. Mm-hmm. And then, um, you know, what I'm saying like my grandfather, God bless his soul, before he passed, you know, he he shot a video of me. Like he he was like, you know what? Like, just just talk about your problems with, with alcohol. And um, I did so, mm-hmm. and. They, you know, they ended up, my family got in cahoots and they ended up sending it to A&E. Right. Oh, wow. And next thing you know, they called up. I, and I, I honestly believe it was, you know, it was because I was who I was. I was just about to say, yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, made yeah. it easier. So, and, and, and you know what, I, I can say uh, that episode was the highest uh, rated episode of, of, um, uh, of yeah, yeah, they, they, they got an Emmy off of that when, when like. When the Emmys happened, right. my face was on the screen right. behind them when they were accepting right. their Emmy. That story Emmy. was real, Rob. Yeah, was so, story. I mean, not to, not, not to no, take no, credit I mean, for a bad situation, day, but it was crazy, like, how right. all that, how, that you know. how that worked. Yeah, yeah. So The second part, what were you saying? The second part was what, I guess you answered it. I ain't going to make you answer it again. You said the breakup from City High spiraled you out of control. Everything mm. you was going, don't you? Right. Well, it, I mean, it wasn't just that. I can't, you know, because I'm not going to blame them. Right. I mean, yeah, like the the... The sudden realization that these guys that, that they okay. were you know they were we'll together. Wait, what's your next question? Oh, yeah, hold on. Don't get no, 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 no. Mm. Yeah, ask your question, and we're gonna go right back. Stay right there. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> right there. Where are you in your addiction now? Like, are you still? You know what? You said struggling. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, yeah, I'm still struggling. Okay. I'm still struggling. I. I. Um. Well, I can say this. Um. Through the in and out, being in and out of rehab. Um, I've learned a lot of coping skills, enough coping skills that keeps me from being destructive the way I was when I was right. like a rock star. Right. You know what I'm saying? And now, like now that I'm not, now that I'm just kind of a regular guy right. on my own. Right. Like, you know what I mean? I keep to myself. Yeah. Do I still drink? Yes, I yeah. still drink. But I'm not like out here how, they, how I used to be. How I used to Somebody be. I gotta you know pick you up, take right, you home, call right, you. Right, 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 right. <laughs> now I, I, I absolutely know um, yeah. that. You know, some for somebody like me, you should absolutely abstain, uh, abstain from alcohol, right. and I'm always working on that. It's always right. a constant battle. But yeah, I drink. Yeah, I, I drink from time to time, but I I just don't I, I don't like blast the fuck right. off. You're more of social. Like you probably go go home from right, work, right. grab yours, mm. get a couple drinks, yeah, have a couple shots. You know, when I when I know that the, um, yeah, I can't lie. You know what I mean? On, on the right, show, yeah, I yeah, might yeah. have a couple shots or something. Yeah, yeah. Get, get, get yourself loose, right? <laughs> get myself a little right. loose. You know what I'm saying? All right, so, so yeah. um, another question. Do you currently struggle with any depression right now? Because I also know outside of City High, you know, you had regular stuff unfold locally, too, with your kid's mom, your wife, your daughter. Like, that That was also during the show that showed that, you know, you're going – you're going through this addiction, but you're also going through a woman giving you an ultimatum. Right. Like, if you don't get yourself together, me and your baby, we out. Right. That had right. to be some enormous pressure. Where is that at to now? Like, your um, relationship? Well, um, you know, I need to keep it all real. Like, right. she, she, she's moved out. Okay. She's, she's moved on. Right. She took, she took my kids with her. Okay. Um, uh, and you have Lyric and who else? Cord. Lyric, Lyric and Cord? Yeah. That's awesome name. Thank, thank I like you. how you just continued that musical gene. Thank you. So that was dope, you know what I'm saying? And, and we watched that unfold on Facebook. I'm talking about just how your right. baby girl, your A&E, and how close you was. So, like, it was a real story. People connected to it. So right. People want to know, how's Lyric doing? How old is Lyric now? Yeah. Well, uh, Lyric, Lyric is uh, is 14. Um, Sheesh! Lyric, yeah. was, you was holding her like this five right, right, on the right, show. Right. So, Lyric and, is 14? Um, yeah. And how old yeah. is Court? Court is eight. Okay. So so and you know I'm and glad. they're both girls or a girl no, I know uh, lyrics a girl but it's court court, a boy? court is a boy okay, yeah, right. yeah yeah okay. so court court is happy go lucky he he's oblivious to right anything. everything well it, it would seem right. right now um lyric she has suffered some uh, consequences due to the the life of me being her father right. and the, the shit that went on between me right. and her uh-huh. mother you know what I'm saying okay. so she's she's got she's got some um, mental health issues going on that we are trying to surround her with love That's and support right. and okay. you know what I mean and and it definitely is because of the trauma that 
right from that, from you right. know what we did. Like, that's we, right. You know what I'm saying? And I, but you know, I like that you're you guys it. have a good relationship though. Like, or is, how we, is uh, it? every five minutes, every five minutes we do. Like we 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 go like it'll be a month where like we like you know what I miss you, nigga. Right, pull up on me, and then, yeah. yeah, and then and then like something happened with the kids, and then it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. can't stand your way. You ain't never gonna see your kids again. <laughs> yeah, that's how. Yeah, and that's where we're at right now. Right. Okay. So it gets greater later. It's not yeah, a baby yeah. mom if you ain't arguing. And right, right, right. Or right. you don't block each other twice. Right, a right, right, right. That's, that's love. Right, shit. right. If right. I get blocked once a week, you see what she said when I call. Right, right. Be like this. Why are you Toxic. calling? That's toxic. That's toxic. Yeah, it's, it's love. Uh, I'm nervous healthy. if you ain't it's, it's love, me. but it's toxic. I know, you know it's toxic. I'm just trying to put a little man. No, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm with you though. So, like, yeah, because you know we. we she still feels. But she, as men, to- no, 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 we not toxic. 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 I'm gonna tell you what it is. Nope, toxic. Most black men, and I'm gonna say Hispanic. We're I'm really not you. It's crazy because I watch. I, I seen your mom and dad on the show, right? Mm-hmm. And they look like some. They was the Cosby. Like, they was they was Bill and Claire. Your mom was Huxtable. crying. She still calls you mm. Robbie. Like yeah. she was a baby. <laughs> I'm like, my mom is not now, like but, that. Call me, give me a nickname. Right, 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 right. No. I'm a hater. That was just saying it was love. My mom, my mom loves me. My mom loves me. But my mom raised all boys, so she hardcore. I'd be like, mom, give my me a kiss. Oh no, know your lips, man. Like yeah, my mom, yeah, yeah. like his mom, she, she probably giving him a thousand kisses on the forehead. Mom, my mom like, a gangster, like, but we got yeah, you little, got you little, not that type of family. A little something. A little so something. when I'm, I don't know what it's like now, but what I'm saying is that we weren't taught like how to be in a relationship the right way. But right. The people we saw in relationships, it wasn't healthy. I see unhealthy relationships too growing you, you up. You still don't know how to be in a relationship. You, you be trying to fight niggas. I don't fight nobody. You don't threaten niggas? No. At least once a week. I, you, you look like you might threaten somebody once. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you look man. like you capable. You hear her talk outside the party. Right. Just, Nigga, it's this lit. One. It's on. It's up when it's stuck there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> when it's I stuck, then it's stuck. Like when it's stuck. Yeah, yeah, no. stuck pussy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. like, I'm going to tell, I'm gonna tell all y'all women out there right here. All y'all women out there, we don't want that. We deal with that in the streets with niggas. I want a lady to be a lady. Don't tell me it's up in the stuff. Right, 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 right. I want a motherfucker to say, Kevin. You're just acting childish no, right now. Right, right, right. Go but, get but, but when you no. say to me, go you know what you girl. can do for me, my nigga? Like, <laughs> who the hell? Like, like, these bitches be calling you know? niggas gang gang. What's good, what? gang? Yo, what's up, gang gang? gang? Like, yo, hold on. When did we start doing that? Oh, you I'm tough now. To you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to bring the strap to the daycare. Right, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But anyway... But no, what I'm saying is this. We weren't taught how to relationship. So at the end of the day, and like you said, when you deal with um, addiction issues and then you're already dealing with your own depression, you go off this high roller coaster of being the man. Mm. Now you got to come and fill the application out. Right. A lot of women right. don't know, nigga, I'm famous as hell. I can't go to Walmart. What you mean? Get a right, job. Right, so right. The transition you think was the hardest part for you? Like you... Coming man, from being, man, you don't know you know, how here to now, you I don't know, know how many times. Like I, I did a lot. I did a lot of warehouse work. I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a. Oh, actually, I'm with a pretty good company right now. It's, right. it's it, you know, it's a plant. But you know how many times I heard, what the w- once everybody realized who I was. Right. What the hell are you doing here, oh nigga? God. Life. Life happens. I'm yeah. not part of City Guy no more. Right, I'm a right. man. Nigga. I got to take care of my family. Yeah. Like, like, Nobody so cares. please, please, like, stop. You know what I'm saying? I never forget. I'm going to tell y'all niggas out there. I was on 106 and Park four or five times. I'm doing songs with everybody. I'm on mm-hmm. 99, Hot 97. I remember. I remember. And a nigga had to go do a substitute teaching job. A nigga Woo! see me in his class was like this. You kilograms? Right, right, right. I'm right. like, yeah, nigga, what's up? They like, why you a teacher? What you wrote? You like right. this? Oh uh, shit! Exactly, no, bro. Call, no, listen, Paul. I told a young boy, I said, it's called child support, young man. And yeah. if you don't put a condom on your dick, you, you gonna, gonna experience it. You gonna experience it. My baby it. mom don't care that I'm rapping on TV. Atlantic, right. I ain't got no checks from these niggas right, right now. Right. So right. I either get in here or I'm going to Camden County for seven days. Right. Lock up, mandatory. Right. You feel me? <laughs> right. So, but does that that make y'all feel a certain type of way? Like what? being asked, oh, you just a teacher. Oh, it hurts. Like, even right like, now. Yeah. You even right now, house. as a once you become a celebrity, you can't have a day off. 
You go to the grocery store and you ain't got a hit record. When a nigga see you and you look like a bum, a nigga's gonna take a note. Right, right. right. Like this. Y'all seen that nigga Rob from City High? The, um, he was at the check cashing spot. Niggas' right. Tim's went this way. They leaning. Right. The nigga has right. Swimmerlands on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Right. He's absolutely, he's absolutely and right. So man. guess what it do? It make you do this. I don't give a fuck if I gotta write a bad check. I'm going to the mall. Bro, for real. A nigga gonna see me with fresh Air Force Ones on, everything. And so guess what? You just what? felt like you had a standard to live up to, and there now you, you gotta go. be this regular. And, reg- and yeah, 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 yeah. And, and and it's no uh not to um all all the all the all the black men, all the grown black right. men, not even black men, just men in general who who's out here working for a living, you know what I'm saying? Right. I just so happen to be blessed to be in a situation where I like like I, I was a rock star for a sec, for a quick right. second. Right. But that quick second defined my life. So like okay. like so now that I'm not there no more, people look at me and be like, What happened, man? Damn, homie. And they all in high school, you was the man. You know what I mean? Like, like for real, for real. That's a walk of depression that you face everywhere you go. Because if you didn't, you almost made it, nigga. Right, right. And and you know what it does? It it makes you it makes you reflect on your faults and your and and, and how how you failed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, God damn, man. Like, you know what I mean? But I'm here to tell you that you didn't fail because you made it. Thank you, sir. You know how and many? You, do you still do things like in the music industry now? Yeah. Like, um. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. no I'm I, sorry, I, let's get like, it. I, I, I'll I tell you know. what. Yeah. Yeah. From from time to time, I do shows. Right. Um. I got the studio at my crib, so I'm always right. like trying to trying to work on something, trying to do tracks and stuff like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um. Um. I I, I sent your man the track that yeah, I you gonna, know that we was. We gonna get into that. Track. I don't have to, but I'm just saying. Nah, yeah, we gonna give you some love. But you know, Apple Music. I'm so. Um. No, I didn't. Because they gonna be trying to take. The money right, from right. our episode, and we need this to go viral. This right. going to Vlad TV. This going to everywhere because Vlad ain't got your response. But mm-hmm. We gonna give it to him right now. Okay. Claudette okay. has been saying a lot of things in the media. I love you, Claudette. I love you, Ryan. I ain't, I don't have no dog in this fight. It's just from one Jersey legend to another Jersey legend. We just having a conversation. That's why it's called a podcast, right? right. All right, cool. So my thing is this, right? I've been studying Claudette because I knew I was getting ready to do this interview. She's the only one online talking. Ryan don't talk. It's like y'all mm-hmm. niggas is ducking the feds or something. Y'all, not, y'all ain't doing no interviews or nothing. Bro, bro. But Claudette talking to everybody. You feel bro. me? Mm-hmm. And she's telling her version of what happened with City High and how they broke up. But she's also saying that the reason why she broke up with you is because you were very abusive, vulgar, that's all vulgarly that's to her. That's all and that's she said you been an alcoholic since you were 15, 16 years old. Mm. She said that she witnessed you just spiraling out of control. Mm. It got very scary for her to be around you. Mm. Mm. So what do you say to those accusations mm. and are they real or that's just her perception? Um, what I will say is she was somewhat correct. Okay. But if it was that bad, uh, why was she still around all that time? Why, why, you know what I mean? Yeah. Why, why now when we're in the public spotlight, right? That all of a sudden it's like I gotta, you know, I gotta put Robbie on blast. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is stuff that we were dealing with. Because to me, yeah. yes, I did have a problem with alcoholism. Yeah. Yes, I was worried about myself. Right. But did you did you stick by my side? Yeah, yeah, you were still there, right. and, and and by my side, you can't really. I mean, it was puppy but love. Were you we, scary like, we were at times? Like, did you do the? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I mean, like yeah, like maybe, just... like, like maybe once or twice, like, like yeah. you know, like, but for uh, I was portrayed as the as Ike Turner, and and, and and that was. that is that is I was a little scared too. I had a I got a cop outside right now. <laughs> 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 he so Bro, with you, with you. Yeah. but no, but listen, all jokes aside, we like to have fun. But mm. all jokes aside, when I watched that, I said, "Damn, I don't get that vibe from Robbie," but I know. Behind closed door, as a man, I've lost that's, my temper too. That's what, you know what I'm, that's man? what I'm saying. Every yeah. man loses their temper, yeah. especially when you're dealing with something like alcoholism. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Have I flipped? Have I flipped? Yeah, yeah, like like a couple times. But if you know me, mm-hmm. then you know that like I, I would like to think that my I'm a I'm a good guy. So right. uh, so much so that it's almost to my detriment. Okay. I get taken advantage of because I'm such a nice person. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I am not Ike Turner. I didn't beat. Claudette every day. I didn't torment her. No, 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 no. Right. We got into a couple arguments right. a few times when both of us had a couple drinks. I may have had more than she she did. Yeah. And we, we know got you talking. had more, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I'm not trying, I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from what Claudette went through. Who am I? 
Like, right. like, because I could tell right, my story. Right, because her truth she, is her, her truth. Her truth is her truth. Right. And, and, and I'm not taking anything away from her truth. I know what my truth is in my mind. Right. And I didn't see it that way. I, I don't I don't believe that that that's the way it happened. But yeah. there's always like eight sides to a story. That's true. <laughs> you know what that I'm saying? And, and another question mm-hmm. I want to ask is, uh, she kind of said in a way too, that and, and these are things that I'm bringing up because I looked for your response. And if, mm-hmm. and if you had gave one, I would not ask the question. I would right. have got my answer. Right. But she says that you made it awkward to be in the group after a while, like because it was just that tension when you came around. I don't know if it's because y'all arguing, because y'all broke up. She said that y'all y'all broke up, and then she said that she wasn't leaving the group because this was an amazing opportunity. She wanted it to she wanted it to work her whole life. She finally had got somewhere. So she said, even though I'm not seeing this man, I'm not leaving this group. I'm gonna stick it out. But you still you continue to make it awkward. I, I yeah I I don't. I don't see that. Was I hurt? I yeah. mean, were, were we were we a group of three members that right. have to coalesce and be together all That's the right. time? So it is. Awkward. Was I hurt? Yeah. yeah, that factor was always there. Right? Did I come around like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like after what was said and what was done was done. Right. I tried my best to accept it. Now, mind you, I'm still, I'm still a kid. Still a you know kid. I mean? I'm still yeah. trying to deal with it. Processing so, your emotions. Processing my like emotions. You know what I'm saying? So, so the, be- the best thing I could do was try to stay away. But when I was around, was it awkward? Yes. Was because, you grilling was it because, Ryan? Was I mean, you like grilling them and nah, being like... I mean, at first, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, like, so listen, first, did you ever have a conversation? No. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Get, get your notes together. Go ahead, get see, your notes together. Yeah, I, I could ask that. I could ask yeah. that. Did you, did you, like, when it went down, like, I guess you, when you figured out that, damn, my bandmate is dating my ex-girl, when you figured that out, did you want to stay in the group? Did you say, like, what, damn, how right. do I show up to work every so, day? So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what happened. We were on the road. We were in, like, um, San Antonio or some right. shit like that. We were on the road. Um, I was reaching out to Ryan. I had no clue what was right. going on. We, we we pulled up at the hotel, getting ready for a show. And, um, like, I was looking for Ryan. Went to his room. He wasn't in his room. And me and Claudette, you know, this tension or whatever, because we, we was fighting. But I had no idea what was going on. Right. I went to Claudette's room, knocking on the door. No answer. Mm-hmm. I hear some voices in there. I ended up kicking down the door. We had to pay for this door, for this Best Western and right. shit. I ended up kicking down the door. They in bed together. Now, um, did you see signs before they got in bed? No, like, no. Now you never no, seen no flirting. No, no, uh, no what, never. Did you never. consider so obviously you and Ryan were doing work prior to y'all being in a group where y'all actually like? Did you consider him a friend? He was. He was like one of my best friends. He was my big brother. I looked up to him. Okay. Like, right. like with the sister act thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. He's myself. a legend. Right. He was a legend. He still is a legend. Still you legend. know what I'm saying? Okay. So like, I mean, I was completely oblivious. So that shock. Like to, to to see that, and yeah. then what she said to me was like, "Robbie, you were a shitty boyfriend." I'll never forget it. You were a shitty boyfriend. I'm standing in the in the middle of the the room. Why there? He's in bed. like my my nigga. Well, he wasn't, you know, but they were in the room together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was obvious what right. was going on. Like, yo, I ran out. Um, don't remember too much after that because yeah, yeah. I, so you you, know. you you was just hurt. On both sides. On both sides. I was yeah, hurt yeah, from Yeah, Yeah, I know him. in a sense, here it is, the guy right. you watched on Sister Act. Right. And he's writing jams with you. Y'all breaking bread. Y'all traveling the world. Right, right, right. You find out on tour, whatever y'all kick, you kick the door, you find out they're in bed together. And then in that moment, the only response that she had was you're, you, you were a, a shitty, shitty boyfriend. boyfriend. So you basically but on her end, too, she's a shitty girlfriend. Well, uh, ex-girlfriend, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. she would have never did nothing like that had she respected you as a person. Wow. Well, you know what? It, it, it's it's to be, you know, yeah. it, it depends on who you asking. Right. I, I, like, I, I like your response, but right. I, I don't. Oh, God. So, we see. I'm, I don't want to kick nobody no, back no, in. No, we no, signing. No. Kicking nobody back in. Yeah, like, like, well, like, at the end of the day, and right. as a woman, she should have known, like, that's your friend. She shouldn't have did that. Right. I would have never did okay, that. Okay, so here's another question. Because we already on the Ryan and Claudette thing, and I know the fans want us to stay here because you've deprived them. Of your side of the story, and I think that you releasing a lot of this. Yo, my phone is blowing up right up. Up. Yeah. 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 Listen, people want to know. Once it got to the point, um, Rob, when you heard like they were with child now, mm. this now the transition is. I'm, you know, here's my love that I bought into this game. Mm-hmm. 
you know, from Willemboro. You know, this is this beautiful woman mm. is now getting ready to share a baby mm. with a nigga that I idolize, mm. for one. Mm. For two, now it's going to marriage and more kids. Mm. And I'm out the group. City High is done. Mm. I'm living my life. I'm spiraling out of control. Mm. Was that the catalyst of your breakdown? Uh, yeah. Like, I mean, that was that was the main, you know, the, the, the main thing. Uh, by, by that point, I, you know, I knew what was going on. And, like, I... I can't say I was over it, but yeah. like the 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 hurt had kind of subsided enough yeah. to where it wasn't like driving me crazy every day. It was like, yeah, shit, it is what it is. And you know what? To like piggyback off of that and get to the demise of City High, like right. you know, we were in a in a meeting with David Sonnenberg and Wyclef right. and everybody like that. Uh, David Sonnenberg was Wyclef's manager and right. big wig in the industry, and they were like, uh, "Listen, we know you guys hate each other. <laughs> um, you don't." You can do minimal touring. All you got to do is finish. At this point, our second album was, like, pretty much done. Right. Just finish it. Just put put the second album out. You can continue. We can grow. You, you guys can make money. You can be stars, blah, blah. You don't have to tour. You don't have to be around each other, blah, blah. At that moment, me and Ryan, we were all, all three of us were in the office. Me and Ryan looked at each other, like, yeah, and then still fresh. It's still, you know what I mean? Like, I'm still, like, fuck you, nigga. You know what I mean? But yeah. I'm look, we looking at each other, like, you want to get this bad? Let's get Bag. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we looked at each other like, cool, we're cool. Saw that. Wanted no parts of it. And that was the end of City High. They were yeah. offering us everything. Right. To keep to keep going. Right. You know what and, it was? You think uh, that she couldn't face you? I don't, I you know, I can't I can't talk for her. Um, okay. you know, it, it, if in in speculation, maybe, right. maybe. And I wouldn't be mad at her if that if that was the case. You know what I mean? Could be working with two guys. It, that, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. I, I can, I, I can, under, I can um, sympathize, empathize, yeah. and, and understand like how how hurtful that would be for her. Right. You know what I mean? Because even though she considered you a shitty boyfriend, doesn't mean that she didn't at one point still care about you. Or right. Even right. Even in that moment, she could have still had some type of feelings. Maybe. Right. Maybe we we will never know. But, right, so let me know. ask you this too: If you could say anything to Claudette today, that, that it's been so long. Do you feel like you owe her an apology? Like, do you feel like that years later after you, you've healed, you've lived life, you went through your ups and downs, do you feel like that today? Like, as a man, mm. I made my bed with it. Uh, well, I feel like I owe her an apology for this interview. You know what I mean? Cause you do? Because I, I know it's dredging up uh, bad memories. And, and honestly, in my head, I wasn't going to talk about that. You know what I mean? I don't but, think that you went in. I think that you you told your truth, and I think that at the end of the day, you, you've you've gave her fifteen years of silence. Right, and right. At the end of the day, one thing I understand about addiction, I understand about depression, is that you have to release. Right. Got to release that stuff. It's cancerous to hold that shit. Out. It definitely is. It when definitely. You give is. it away, and a nigga call you and say, "Yo, I seen your interview on Killergram show. I need you to come up here and do my shit." You like, nigga, if there's anything with Claudette and all that, I don't want to talk about. about it. I, 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 you know what? I I'm came up here when, when, like, yeah. when I came up here, I was like, I'm not gonna talk about Claudette. Nigga, let me tell you something. You, 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 you depriving your fans because guess what? Because if, we want to know your truth. Know there you go. Right. What happened? Right. What you but take it, on? I mean, but it's been it's, it's been so long. Um, you know, what I mean that 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 woman ain't thinking about me, she and I, and I'm not really I'm not thinking about her either. Right. The only reason why we're talking about it is because you asked me questions right. about that's right. You know what I'm saying? That's so right. I don't I don't want it to seem like I'm holding on to some old memories or the no, past no, no, or anything no, no, no. like you that. I'm asked just these questions you know what I'm saying by us because at the end of the day, the fans got one narrative that's floating around for the last and 15 that's years, and that's her side of the story. This is true. Everybody tell this you two true. sides to the story and then the police report. I Does it? I'm screaming. I the yeah. I just made that up. So make sure anybody say that, then you got to call me. I just made it up on the spot. Right, That's right. that rapper shit. Right, right. It is, right. It is. All right, let me see. So we talked about the Claudette thing. You got one more question. About. I think it's that one. You see it? What you pointed at? Oh. 13. Do you still speak to Ryan? Uh, I speak to Ryan. Um, not, not often. Me and Ryan are cool. Like, okay. ain't nothing ever happened. That's my big bro. I just, right. matter of fact, the the, the song that I the, you know that I was telling y'all about, I, I sent it to him. Oh, that's dope. Like, big bro, check. I'm working. He he texted me back. Like, good to have you back. Damn, you know what I mean? Awesome. Like, that's my big bro. I love him. It's like ain't nothing yeah. ever happened because you know we move on. You move Did on. you guys yeah. ever talk about it, or it's just like you guys just said fuck this? We shit. man, 
I mean, not recently. Uh, through the years, yeah. we've talked about it in agnosium. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, and That's then a we. Big ha- word, bro. I'm, you know, oh, oh, that, oh, that, 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 what does that mean? That <laughs> means that means to excess. <laughs> like, oh my God, you keep talking about it and talking about it. Okay, like, got you it. Beating got somebody it, in, in the head, head yeah, yeah, with, yeah, with yeah. the talk. Because you probably was the nigga like this. I'm just saying. I know it's been ten years, but how did you meet her? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it, was, nigga, it wasn't that. that one time you said, "Well, well, <laughs> right, right. I, I told you, I'll see you." <laughs> was it like that? <laughs> no. Did he apologize as a friend? Yes. Or like, good question. Um, not. I mean, not specifically, right. but he didn't really have to. Right. I, I, I could, I could sense in his demeanor right. and that the he way he hurt. moved towards me. Right. Like after everything happened, after after like years later, and the smoke had cleared, right. and everybody was like, "Cool," you know what I mean? Like he just, he, you know, one time he just popped up at my door, like, "What's up, man?" I was in the neighborhood, you know what I mean? Right. It, is, he, it, is he from Willowbrook too? Of course, Millbrook, man. That's crazy, Dude. man. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Like, like, so you know. I could tell he didn't have to say, "Yo, bro, I'm sorry," because right. he really didn't have to say, "I'm sorry." He was he was a man in that yeah. situation acting. I I can't say how I would have acted That's if I was fact. placed in his position, right? With Claudette, and you know, if the situation was reversed, right. like, damn. You and you I mean? admit that you was, you know, you was acting. Yeah, a little I was. Crazy like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I was. I was. Mad at the world. Right, right, right. So, so sometimes so, that can turn. turn right, right, right. Off, so he, like, yeah. he he didn't apologize to me per se, but right. he his soul did. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you got this new record that you were telling us about, right? Like, um, talk about how that came up. Like, who who produced it? Who's involved? And let's give the world a sample of that. Oh man. Well, I, I'm I'm disappointed to say, like, I just I just read some information. Like, well, basically, I was I was pulling a, um, um, trying to get on trying to gather all my resources. I did right. I did a, I did a song for the Black Panther two soundtrack. Right. Like. We did this years ago when right. Chad when Chadwick died. Right. Like I did a song like like we were inspired by his death and how much we loved him and how much it affected us and everything like that. So I produced this joint. Me and my man Dave Kirkland. Shout out to Dave Kirkland. Okay. He you know he he wrote the joint and you know we were sitting in the lab coming up with it. And years later, when the movie started being kicked around, it was like. This song's kind of crazy. Now, mind you, I'm not famous anymore. Right. I don't. I still have some connects here and there. So right. we were trying to, like, you know, I was trying to like work every angle, see right. if there was somebody at a label I could reach out to. Right. Didn't happen. Right. You know what I mean? But in, at the end of the day, I feel like we, we still got a great song. Right. And um, you know, what I mean, it, it, it's it's in the theme of um, that universe, okay. Wakanda and Black Panther. Right. And All right. Like so t- talk to the people and tell them what the name of the record is. Introduce right, so, uh, so uh, the, the name of the record is um, Wakanda Forever, right? Um, p- plain and simple. Um, it, it, I mean, it's it talks about stuff on a, on a whole bunch of. We want to see if them vocals are still nice and oily. Yeah, it, it, you don't want to get on um, here to some nice like this. No, 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 no I mean I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, no, no. We about to check right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah. gonna tell you if you like this, yo, unk. Right, chill right. out, Unc. Go in the towel. Go right. in the towel. Right, hey, hey, and it, it, if that's the case, I'll accept it. You know, you know when a nigga be like this, you should manage. <laughs> <laughs> Those who can't do, yeah. teach. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, yo, trust me. Trust All right, me, yo, bro. we getting ready to go into a new drink from my man, Robbie Parlo, fresh off the uh, presses, and you said it's called Wakanda Forever? Yeah. Okay, dope. All right, let's get to it. In some way, oh, it ain't right, and I'm not surprised. 
Anything that happens, what can I say? Every day's a fight. But I don't ask why. Cause I'm gonna stand on my own to win it night. Oh. Listen, that joint is high rock. You still got it? Vocal styling nice and oily uh, and wet. Thank you, man. I was hoping they you ain't do that. <laughs> I was hoping it ain't come on like this. You want my spot, Flash? <laughs> Nights well, like this, I wish <laughs> raindrops would like fall. We about to go, now, instead of City High, we's going to have to call it nursing. Now, now, nursing well, let me, just, let me just say this. I know you could only play a second of that, but, right, right, um, right. you know, the song the, the song kind of, like, speaks to what I was going through. Right. Like, like you know, with everything, life, right, and I like the, where, where I was I like at. I like and, the you know, song, what I heard so far, anyway. I, I thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, you you got it. So like, hey, please yeah. please listen to the whole thing because right. it, it's it's one of those story type things. Right. Yeah, and, yeah. And, do, and listen, you know, we in the visual world. Are you gonna shoot a video? For Actually, I yeah, I'm 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 trying right now. Anybody wanna? No, no, I got. I'm gonna plug you with a guy that that will knock you. Up. I mean, literally. Please do. Dope. And he reasonable too. Christ. Word, word. Let me yeah, let me know. Let me know. He will, I know he would. You be get a honored. discount because you know Grant. He would be word. honored. He always giving out discounts. He would be honored word. to work with you, and I'm gonna make sure you get his contact because understand, you don't have to wait for the label now. You right. got people blowing you up. Oh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna watch you on the night. You can shoot your own video now. Put it right, on Facebook. Right, right, and, and that's what. Yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of where like, I'm at get with you it. Get you some so. merch. You know right. what I mean? That's where I'm at with it, man. That's so, hey, I, I, I appreciate any, any, um, yeah, it's you know, coming. I'm sending them in your way because, like I said, that's that's what we do as as Jersey legends. We're supposed to pull each other up, and I don't want your story to just be told on Vlad with no response. Right. You know what I'm right, saying? Because right. when anytime somebody make it from here and they fly in that flag, and y'all y'all bring hits mm -hmm. to the world and, and hits from Jersey. They should be celebrated. Thanks. You feel I, me? And I appreciate like, you doing that. But bro. and we we from an era where people look at it like, oh, that nigga used to be hot. Like, nah, like yeah. he's a legend. He did it. Uh, it's a million niggas that didn't do it. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I never look at myself like that. I, I, you know yeah. what I mean? Like I did what I did. I'm, right. I'm just a normal nigga like everybody else. I just did what I did. And I like you know the humbleness, but my, sometimes, you know, if you look at your resume, real quick, give them give them a couple people that you work with in the industry when you got your deal. Like we already know Eve. We already know Wyclef. Mm. Who are some of the other big names that City High has collaborated with or mm. been around? You know, talk to that. Um, I did a joint. I, I demoed a joint for Michael Jackson. Um, I, I'm I'm on Whitney Houston. If y'all know that song, My Love Is Your Love. Yeah, playing in the background. I'm singing it when, when the song comes on. Clap your hands, y'all. It's all right. That's me. That's me. You're you know saying, saying that? Yeah, that's that's me on My Love Is Your Love. I, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. They won't say, but I who it is. You know, but I, so you was in the studio, probably just doing messing oh, around. They yeah. said, "Go add some vocals." Playing, playing like in the on the track. That if, right. if, if for any of the musicians out there, if you hear like this, a lick that goes, blue -do, blue -do, that's, yeah. that's me playing yeah, that. Right. And then you, you know, did the highs. That's what I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. You called so, the highs. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, you know, you and mean, then and then um, and <laughs> shout out to Ryan again. That's that's both of us on the background. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it you know it started out like me on, on a tour bus. Right. Um, working for Whitney. Uh, Whitney. Um. I mean, as far as working, working, yeah. like, you know, um, off the top of my head, that's all I can think of right now, but the, the, the list is endless who I've met, I you know what I mean? It's endless, like, okay. so, but Michael Jackson, that yeah, was takes the cake. That, that was crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, after the, we were at the Hit Factory, there's no longer the Hit Factory that we were working at, and um, after we were done working, he called the studio, we were still in the studio, and he asked why Clef to speak to me, Right. and um, I got on the phone with him, and he said, Robbie... Don't ever stop singing. I'll mm -hmm. never forget that. Michael, oh, wow. Michael That's Jackson. Cool. And then Prince at the at, in, in Vegas. Talk at, your shit, bro. Prince at Vegas at the um the uh, whatever that fashion uh, magic show, whatever. Right. So we did a show. He was standing backstage. And um, you know, after we were done, he was still standing backstage watching who was going on. And I saw him. I walked up behind him and I was like, uh, um, 
Yeah, you know I what I mean? Yeah, yeah right. it, Mr. Prince, I, like, you know what I mean? You, I grew up with you, you know, you, you're yeah. a legend. I grew up with your music. And he looked at me and he was like, well, now I'm growing up with yours. Damn. Yeah. Legend. He ain't trying right. to slap you on the booty, did he? No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I actually tried to slap him on his, though, because he, like he looked like a little petite joint from the back. Yeah, I was yeah, like, who this that? little joint? <laughs> Yeah. With the curly hair and shit, yeah, I was like, oh, shit, it's Yo, Jamie Foxx said. That's what I said. That Jamie Foxx Fox was in line, bro. He said, don't look that motherfucker Don't do it. Look him in the eye. When he turned fucker. around, I was like, beautiful. <laughs> yeah. He turned around, I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so, so, so uh, you got the last one, Juice, because we already talked about that. Last, very last question. Ooh, I'm not even doing that one. So you got to oh, take, yeah, you <laughs> take your time. Take your time. Tell the fans where... Well, tell them your social media and where yeah. they can find, like, your music and all that um, stuff. Do you okay. have anything, like, on, on like, the streaming platform? Like, do you have anything Nothing on, like, right Apple Music, Spotify? Nothing right oh, now. Oh, well, we got to help you get it together. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I need all the help. You know what I mean? Like, this song was the first time I was like, you know what? I'm going a, I'm to a start doing something. Put, get I'm going to put some get stuff EP, together. Man. Get an EP, man. Get an EP That's what I'm, that's yeah, what I'm working yeah. on. So I'm working on that songs. right I'm working on that right now. I got another song in the works right now. That was, like, the first one that I actually, like, you know, mixed and, like, all right, that's done. Let me put that in the can. Let me keep it moving. Like this is back after years. I'm like, you know what? I need to. I need to get back on my music grind. So right. that, that's where I'm at. But right. social media, um, Mr. Pardlo on Instagram. Right. You know what I mean? Um, Rob Pardlo on on uh, face Facebook. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, that you know that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, yeah. That's you know that's the, that's the best ways to get me, man. I appreciate it, man. Well, thank you for coming through. Hey, I appreciate you. Always, always, awesome, always, always, you. awesome, bro. Always, this bro. will probably be on the the blog sites because you gave. Yeah, the so and, and I know, that? I know. So it's going to see me talk about her, but well, it's all right. But now we love Claudette, <laughs> <It's, laughs> yeah. and we hey, we kept it respectful today. We Ryan, respectful. I love you, Claudette. I love you. I'm Ryan. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just you no, know. You don't have to like, apologize. Man, you know what I'm saying? Nothing. Like, I'm not trying. Wrong. And shout out to Wild right, Clef right. for giving these brothers a shot, too. Oh, no doubt. Jersey no legend. doubt. Big Other brother Jersey Clef. Legend. Big brother yeah. Jerry Wonder. Right. Always love. You know what I'm saying? And that was, so. that was episode 86 from the hood to Hollywood and back again with Rob Parlow and Juicy Jalene and Killer Grant. You know what we do. We on, on our way to that 100 episode. Get ready. It's going down. It's going we out of here.